It's just incredible. With you, it's Coral Rugby. Let's take a look at the moments in rugby, the ones that are impossible to forget. This is what happens when players use 100% of their minds. Take a look at this creative play from Toulouse. It's impressive. For Toulouse, that's the bonus point. A little bit of invention. Five meters out. And just before half time. The player jokingly decided to show the referee a red card. But the referee didn't appreciate it. Dan Carter has always been known for his professionalism, but this amazing banana kick just blows your mind. A moment highly deserving of respect. The Ireland team stood in an eight formation in memory of the late Anthony Foley to face down New Zealand's Hakka before their Rugby World Cup quarterfinal. I think this is one of the most unusual endings to a try we've seen in rugby. Sometimes it happens. Even the ball can't always withstand the force of rugby players. Take a look at the incident that occurred in the match between France and Scotland. Typical Joe Marler. Look at how he reacts to the yellow card. And it's Joe Marler who receives it. It seemed like what could go wrong. Clearly it wasn't his day. moment that will go down in history. It's been charged down by Cheslin Colby. Cheslin Colby saved this whole game. Joe Marler makes a brilliant head pass, not realizing it himself. And sometimes it's better not to joke with the referees. What do you think? Was the red card deserved or not? At the edge of fantasy. One of the best passes I've ever seen. A one in a million moment. It turns out Zidane is good not only at football. Have you ever expected to see Zidane playing rugby? Hansen was just a few meters short of the line and looked certain to score, but was incredibly stopped by Dupont, who held the winger up and drove him away from the try line. Dupont's brilliance. Manny Libuck's no-look pass to set up Kurt Lee Aronson's try for South Africa leaves fans blown away during win over Scotland as they hail the outstanding Springbok star. This is what happens when rugby players try to be like footballers. This dive looked so silly that even his teammates laughed at him. He leaves it behind. They have to scramble. It's there for up. Oh, the around the back pass into the hands of Diolandi. It's the 12 rest. consecutive kicks. There was an extraordinary phase of play between Bath Rugby and Gloucester in their Gallagher Premiership. It devolved into something of a tennis match, as both teams kept kicking to each to the point of boring aimlessness. Barbarians never cease to amaze. This time they formed a wall before the penalty kick. Unfortunately, their idea didn't earn them any points.
a moment that England, specifically Owen Farrell, will remember for a lifetime. Cheslin Colby's incredible run that secures victory in the World Cup. Before the modern kicking tees we see today, players would regularly use sand or mud to levitate the ball above the ground ready to strike. The perfect ball control, simply incredible. With control of the game and securing victory, the Barbarians pulled off this ingenious move just four minutes before the end of the match. Big Ben Tamefuna flew through the center and ended up just millimeters from the famous attempt, but it was denied. Scotland winger Dehan van der Merwe has scored one of the greatest Six Nations tries of all time against England at Twickenham. 